Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over engine management for the Dora. The first thing you have for your engine is the throttle. This is the thing you're going to be controlling the most. Whenever you move your throttle forward, it puts some more gas and air in the engine, so your engine will be more powerful and you'll fly faster. Now when you adjust the throttle, you'll notice that two gauges will change. The first gauge that will change is this one right here, the atmosphere gauge. The atmosphere gauge is basically just like the pressure in the engine. So if you push the throttle forward, obviously there'll be more pressure. The other gauge you have here is the RPM, which is this one here. This just shows you how fast your propeller is spinning. Basically, the only thing you need to remember is whenever you're just cruising around, the max you should have your RPM at is 3000. If you have your RPM at 3000, you can fly like that continuously and not worry about anything. If you go into combat, you can move your RPM up to 3250, which is in the middle right here. Just keep in mind, if you're going to run it like that, you can only do it for 30 minutes at a time so you don't overstress the engine. So just remember, do 30 for casual flying, and then halfway between 30 and 35 for combat. Now, if you push the throttle forward all the way, you might notice the gauges boost up like this. That is what happens when the MW50 activates, which is something that I'll talk about later. The next engine control we have is the radiator flap control which it's kind of hard to see, but it's this spinning thing right here. So what that wheel controls is these flaps on the front of the plane right here. So if you spin that wheel to the left, then the flaps will open up, and if you spin it to the right, then the flaps will close. So what that controls is the temperature of the engine coolant. So you can see if I open it up, uh, the engine coolant temperature goes down, and then if I close it, it goes back up. Keep in mind, this, uh, the flaps are also a little bit automatic. The plane has a little bit of control over the flaps by itself. For example, I'm not touching it right now, and you can see the plane has a little bit of control. It can open them up a little bit. Now, by default, when you get in the plane, it starts all the way closed, which is all the way to the right like this. And I think that is the way you're supposed to keep it. I'm going to be honest, the way it's explained in the manual is a little bit confusing. But I think it's intended that you're supposed to just keep them all the way closed because whenever you do that, it seems like it always stays around 100 Celsius. It never goes past. And I never mess with it while I'm flying and I've never had any problems before. You can mess with the wheel if you want and change the temperature, but I would just leave it how it is by default. The next engine control is the MBG handle, which is this red one right here. Now, whenever I pull this handle, you'll notice that the pressure will jump a little bit. My understanding is that whenever you pull this handle, it disables like the automatic mode of the engine. The only difference it really seems to make is that it la if you pull it, it allows you to have a little bit more pressure. So if I put the throttle forward all the way, you can see that when I pull it, the pressure jumps up a little bit. I'm not sure if there's any really use for it in DCS. I don't think you're really ever supposed to touch it, and I've never used it before, so I would just leave it alone. The next thing we're going to talk about is the MW50. So the MW50 is a liquid that's half water, half methanol. Basically, you can squirt it into the engine to make it more powerful. So the way you turn it on is first you need to turn on the MW50 boost pump by pressing in this circuit breaker. Then you need to activate the system by pushing this black lever forward. And then once you push your throttle all the way forward, forward you're no you'll notice that there'll be a boost in your pressure. Also, when you push it forward, you'll notice that this gauge will jump up. This is your MW50 pressure gauge, so that's how you know it's activated. Basically, this allows you to run your engine extra powerful for when you're in combat situations. The only thing to keep in mind is that you're only supposed to use this in combat. You're not supposed to just be cruising around with MW50 on, so just keep that in mind. The last thing I want to go over is that if you want, you can actually store extra fuel in the MW50 tank instead of MW50. So you click on your plane in the mission editor, and then you click the three line button. And then you can see the MW50 tank. You can change it to B4 gas. So now you can have extra gas. Now in the manual, it says that if you put extra gas in the MW tank, then you're supposed to pull this red lever back here to select it. Um, but whenever I hover over the lever, it says not functional. So I guess that you just ignore this and uh, the plane in DCS automatically knows that you have extra gas in. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you later.